What's up you guys and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My name is Amanda Marie. Over here I love to discuss all things fragrance. So if you're someone that enjoys wearing fragrances, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button and become a part of the Amanda Marie family. Make sure when you hit the subscribe button, it turns gray. The reason why I say that is because some of y'all may think y'all following me, but y'all really not. If you've watched a few of my videos, more than likely you will see that YouTube will push my video or put it on your feed, but it doesn't mean that you're subscribed to me. So make sure that you actually hit that button. When you hit it, it's going to turn great. So make sure you pay attention to that. So in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you 10, 10 of my most expensive fragrances that I do not regret buying. Now I do have some regrets in my life, child. <clears throat> I'm too old of a cat to be called a kitten. And with that comes experience. It comes, you know, sometimes life hands you a curveball, okay? Sometimes life hands you lemons and you got to make lemonade. So I am old enough to say that I have made a few, okay, a couple of regrets, a couple of mistakes in my life that I actually do regret. But the thing of it is, you know, you pick yourself up and you learn from it and you move on, baby. That's how you do that, okay? But these fragrances though, these fragrances that I'm about to mention in these videos, I don't regret buying them whatsoever at all, okay? I knew instantly when I first sprayed the fragrance, that I wanted the fragrance. At some point, I may not have bought it like immediately and I will, there's a few in here that I did not buy immediately. It took me, you know, a couple of times to go back and smell them, to wear it on my skin, to actually really just make that decision, you know, to pull the trigger and go ahead and buy them. But once I bought them, it was just like, ugh, I need them. A lot of these fragrances that I'm gonna mention too are really lifers for me. Like, with the exception of a few, I would say once I empty the bottle, would I repurchase them? I don't know, but as of right now, they are definitely lifers for me. So, if you're interested to see what I spent my coin on, then keep watching this video. This one is from the House of Siage. Now, um, this was definitely a blind buy. It was a spontaneous buy. It kind of made me nervous, like I'm not even gonna hold you, like I'm not even gonna lie. I don't really like blind buying because it just causes me too much anxiety and I just, I'm not about that life, okay? I'm not, I'm not on that time. Like I just, I try to eliminate as much stress out of my life as possible and blind buying is a stressor for me. Sometimes you can't help it though. Sometimes you can't help but to blind buy fragrance because maybe you know it's not readily available for you to go sniff and try on and do all things. And sometimes you just gotta take a chance. But I try not to blind buy. But this fragrance was definitely a blind buy for me and um, it is expensive. This fragrance probably ran me about five hundos okay it ran, it ran your girl about five hundred dollars and i'm gonna give you guys a roundabout on what i spent on the fragrance not the exact you guys can go google and do all that i will leave all the um fragrances that i mentioned in this video along with the link to the actual website if i'm able to do that so you guys can go check out the prices but i will definitely give you an estimated cost of the fragrance so Again, this one was about $500, and I'm going to say it kind of came to, was it five? I want to say the fragrance itself was over four, and then uh, now the shipping was free. It was, it was, I'm rounding up, but it was about five, okay? 
and that is the mini fragrance from house of siage again that this was a blind buy and uh i was on pins and needles honey your girl was stressed out because that here's the thing like when you buy fragrances and you don't like fall in love with them they're not what you expected them to be of course you can sell them but i'm here to tell you you're not gonna get what you pay for the fragrance and that's another reason why i don't like reselling my fragrances because people try to shake you down they want you to lower the price they want to hustle you they want to negotiate they want to do all this and i'm like baby girl baby gal I spent five hundos on this fragrance and I, I haven't even sprayed it a good 10 times. Like, run me my money. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, stop playing with me. But you can sell them, but I'm here to tell you, be careful because you're not going to get what you pay for. You're going to get something, but you're not going to get what you pay for. But this fragrance is absolutely beautiful. This is, in my opinion, way better than the Mickey, okay? I have the Mickey, and I bought that one on sale, actually. Mickey is a little bit more softer. He's a little bit more uh, soapier. Um, he's just not my favorite. Minnie, though, Minnie is beautiful. She is giving raspberry and vanilla, kind of like marshmallow. I want to say there is marshmallow in this fragrance. Minnie is giving. Minnie was a love at first sniff for me. I mean, it's, it's, it's just a beautiful fragrance. It's playful. It's not necessarily like the type of scent that you would be like, uh, you would say that it's like a mature type of scent. It's, it's more on the playful side. Extremely feminine to me. It doesn't lean masculine at all. I would not consider this a unisex fragrance. I would definitely say that it is a feminine scent, but it is absolutely beautiful. I loved it when I first smelled it, and I have absolutely no regrets. Would I have liked to caught it on sale? Absolutely, okay? Could I have waited and possibly caught it on sale? Maybe. This is a limited edition item, and so sometimes, you know, when it comes to limited edition things, I don't play around with them because you're not going once it goes away it is gone okay it is gone so i don't like to really mess around and play with limited editions especially if it's something that i know i want i'ma just go ahead and get it okay many miles from house of siage now speaking of fragrances that i didn't like buy right away this is actually a Killian fragrance. I did not buy this fragrance right away because um, I, I had smelled it several times. But for some reason, I just could not wrap my head around this fragrance. It's not like it's not a good scent. This is a great scent from Killian. It's actually one of his more popular fragrances, okay? But I was lucky enough, I was lucky enough to catch this fragrance um, on, well, it wasn't on sale. What it was, it was at Sephora, and I'm so happy that Killian Fragrances made it to Sephora because I do enjoy buying my fragrances from Sephora because I get the points, I can use my points for cash and things like that, and I can take advantage of the VIP sales that they have. And a lot of times I do take advantage of those sales uh, and I buy fragrances that I've been wanting, right? And so, you know, I was in there and I, I wanted to use my, um, was it 20% or 30%, whatever whatever it is. I wanted to use it and I wanted to buy a fragrance. Anyway, you know, I uh, sashayed over to the Killian uh, fragrances and I picked up Black Phantom. This is a beautiful coffee fragrance i want to say there's coffee and rum in this fragrance if i'm not mistaken a little bit of vanilla because i do get a creamy vibe from this i do get possibly some sandalwood out of this fragrance now don't quote me on the notes okay but i'm just giving you some notes that stick out to me i don't know if all the notes that i'm mentioning are actually in this fragrance but you definitely pick up on coffee 
there is a booziness to this fragrance and I'm assuming that it is rum or maybe cognac. I'm thinking more so it could be cognac since you know Killian is part of that Hennessy family. It's probably cognac, okay? But this is a beautiful scent. I prefer to wear this fragrance during the uh, fall and winter time. But in reality, you can wear this fragrance whenever you want to. I do consider this fragrance to be quite unisex. And for most people, it could possibly lean more masculine, um, if I'm being honest. But this is a beautiful scent. It smells way better on my skin than it does on paper. I'll have to say that. I think that was one of the issues that I was having when I was trying to figure out if this was something that I wanted to buy. I kept spraying it on paper and I don't think I had got it on my skin yet. That's super important, especially if you're considering buying a expensive fragrance. Get it on your skin, wear it around for an hour, see how you feel and then, you know, that'll help you better make a decision on if you want to purchase it or not. But again, this is Black Phantom from the house of Killian. I do have another Killian fragrance here. And again, I drug my feet on this one. Funny thing is, I actually bought this fragrance uh, once, okay? And then I uh, sent it back. And maybe like a week or two later, I bought it again. Child. Uh, I just kept going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And at that one point, I was like, Amanda, like, girl, come on. Like, get it already because you doing the most. So I went ahead and bought it. It is Rolling in Love by Killian. Now, why I struggle with this scent? This scent is very, it's a very unusual scent for me. I am so used to the white florals in Killian fragrances like tuberose. He loves to use tuberose. He loves using orange blossom and things like that. Maybe sometimes some jasmine, but for sure you're going to get an orange blossom or, or a tuberose. I think this may have tuberose in it. And uh, to my surprise, I don't pull a lot of tuberose from this fragrance. What I get is an almond note that kind of comes off smelling like cherries after about 30 minutes into the dry down. And it's not over the top sweet, so this is definitely not a fragrance that I would consider gourmand at all. Um, it has a slight hint maybe of something sweet. It does give me something lactonic, like milky. It's like a milky, almondy type of <laughs> fragrance, okay? And I didn't know if I meshed with it at the beginning. I didn't know. And my bottle, to be honest with you, is still full. I'm definitely not going to declutter it. Um, I have layered this fragrance with other fragrances like Tom Ford's Lost Cherry and um, some other fragrances. I do like to spray it with other fragrances that, that carry like a cherry note because for some reason, to my nose, uh almonds start to smell like cherries in fragrances but yeah um this one probably is gonna run you about two something okay and the black phantom is gonna run you the same i want to say like 275 to some 295 maybe round it up and it's about 300 okay so yeah they're they're with tax and all that you're gonna pay about three um for each of their fragrances and sometimes the limited editions you're gonna pay a little bit more uh specialty type fragrances you're gonna pay a little bit more too so just keep that in mind but yeah this is rolling in love by killian can't say that it is necessarily my favorite from Killian. It has grown on me over the years. I need to wear it a little bit more though, because I don't want it to go bad. Because you guys know fragrances do go bad. Would this be something that I would repurchase? <sighs> to be honest with you, probably not. Probably not. So that's why I use it sparingly too, because I know it's not a fragrance that I'm just going to like want to run out and rebuy or repurchase. So, yeah. 
Now, for some reason, I have kind of gotten into Bond fragrances. I have a nice little Bond collection. Let me see, two, four, six. I have eight Bond fragrances. I struggled with Bond um, when I started my channel. Now, I had always knew about Bond fragrances, even, and I never really just like researched them. But once I started my channel, I started really like getting into the fragrances and I went to the counter and I literally smelled like everything that they had. Bond fragrances, a lot of them are very loud to me. I do enjoy a heavy, loud fragrance. Like that's my jam. Like that's what I live for, honey. Like I want the whole world to smell me when I wear my fragrances. Um, but they were just, a lot of them were not like vibing with me. I did not resonate with a lot of the Bond fragrances. Um, the ones I have in my collection, I do resonate with, but the other ones, nah. There's one that I resonate with so much, and that is Chelsea Knight. Honey, I love that fragrance. If you not smell Chelsea Knight's by Bond number no. 9, you need to go put your nose on it. That bottle, though, is going to run you about $4.95, okay? And I don't know why. I don't. Maybe it's because it's a could be a limited edition, could be some type of specialty scent. It could be part of, like, a private collection. I don't know, but it is it's expensive. And it just could be the fact that fragrances are going up anyway, so I don't know. But the one I have here in my hand is called Greenwich Village. I absolutely adore this fragrance. It is beautiful. It is, in my opinion, it's like a tropical, sweet, fruity type of scent. Almost on the edge of a gourmand. Almost. It's giving me like a coconutty, uh, milky type of vibe. I want to say there's a lychee in here. But... And it could be Lang Lang is in here too that's giving it that sweet sweetness that I keep picking up. Honey, I wore this to work on Friday and I got a ton of compliments. This fragrance is a must, at least a must smell, okay? I'm going to say this fragrance is unisex but leaning very feminine in my opinion. Um because of the lychee and the lang lang and one thing i want to mention about the lychee i know we're all used to kind of comparing the lychee that is in um delina that lychee comes off a little bit soury to me if that's a word soury <laughs> sour it comes off a little sour a little tangy a little you know piercing a little bit this lychee does not I just added this one to my collection over the holidays and honey, I do not regret it. You hear me? I do not. I love it, love it, love it. Would I buy this one again? Yes. This one is going to run you upward of 300 okay? I will link it and you guys can go see the exact uh, amount. But it's been out for a while, so you probably actually... A lot of these fragrances that I'm mentioning, with the exception of the Minnie Mouse, uh, you probably can find them at discounters. And maybe with the exception of two more down here that I'm going to mention. And I'll let y'all know um, the two that I'm going to mention that I don't really think you can get at discounters. You might. You might. I don't know. But this one, for sure, you probably can get um, on websites like fragrance net fragrance eggs i bought this one um from neiman marcus but you when i was researching i did see that fragrance x had it for like 250 listen here's my here's my theory on that if you're gonna spend 250 okay buying a fragrance from fragrance x or fragrance net i would advise you to save 50 more dollars or a hundred more dollars and just go and buy it from Neiman's okay or Saks places like that that is just my opinion not saying that anything is wrong with fragrance eggs because I don't I know how y'all jump to conclusions I'm not saying that 
I'm just saying it would just make more sense to me. Like if I'm gonna, if when I go to discount uh, the vendors like that, I'm gonna need that fragrance to be like 190, okay? Not 250. Why am I here? <laughs> I might as well just save another hundred dollars and go buy it from Saks and then have it same day. You know what I'm saying? Like that's just my thinking. Y'all don't have to do what I say do, but that's just how I think when it comes to buying expensive fragrances like this on websites like that. Does that make sense? Comment down below if I made any sense to y'all, okay? So this fragrance I was actually put on by Platinum D. Um, I will link her channel down below. She talks about fragrances a lot. And she sent me some samples in the mail um, one day and she included a sample of Casili by Parfums de Marley. Now here's the thing, okay? Here's the thing, I am not like that girl, I should say that woman, cause honey, I'm too old to be a chick, okay, or a kitten. Like, I'm not really into the sweet, fruity, floral type of scents. Like, that's never been my vibe. Even when I was younger, I was never into heavy white florals or, and things like that. I'm more of a an earthy type of woman. I'm more of a gourmand lover. Those are the type of fragrances that I really gravitate to the most. But when she sent me a sample of Casilli, oh my God, I, sm I fell, I was about to say, I smelled head over heels. Child, I fell head over heels. And I told her, I'm getting that fragrance. I'm getting it. Like, I was, I was in my Denzel mode. I'm from around the way. I'm getting, I'm leaving here with some, like, I'm getting that fragrance. I knew it. I told her, I messaged her and I was going on and on about how beautiful this fragrance was. I said, girl, I'm getting that fragrance. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. And I totally forgot I didn't pay for this one. <laughs> but since I already started talking about it, I'm going to just go ahead and finish talking about it. Now that I'm, you know, my memory is starting to come back, this was actually gifted to me from, um, oh my God, what's the name of the company? Angel Sense, Angel Sense. I will link them below in the description. But yeah, they gifted me this. But had I paid for it, I would have paid upward of almost $400. Y'all know how Parfum de Marley's fragrances are hitting. I'm gonna just say anywhere between three and four. Okay, I would have paid that much for it. I totally forgot I didn't pay for this. I literally manifested this fragrance. Like I manifested, I swear to God. I manifested this fragrance because once I smelled that sample she sent me, I started manifesting. I was like, I don't, I said, I don't, I need a brand to send me this fragrance because I, at the time, I did not want to spend that coin. Don't you know, two weeks later, two to three weeks later, I have, I got this fragrance in the mail. Child, you can't tell me the power of a mind. You can't tell me. When you put your mind to something, honey, it happens, okay? But this is a beautiful scent. It is giving me like a white floral vibe, but it's also giving me like this sweet, creamy, lectonic type of feel. The only downside to this fragrance, in my opinion, is that it doesn't project well and it doesn't last long. And that's kind of unfortunate because this is absolutely one of my favorite fragrances from Parfums de Marly. Like, and I just hate that. But sometimes it be like that, y'all. Sometimes it be like that. You're going to fall in love at some point with a fragrance that's going to have a moderate projection and moderate longevity. That's just, that's just how it is. Like every fragrance is not going to be heavy, bombastic, in your face type of scent like that's just not how it's gonna be you will run into a fragrance that you fall in love with and it's not gonna do all the things that you want it to do but you just love the fragrance so much and that is how i feel about Cassili. but yeah if i would have paid for it i would have 
paid almost four hundred dollars. So that's Casili. Mm, I forgot I didn't pay for that fragrance, child. <laughs> Anywho, I promise you, all the fragrances that I'm about to talk about coming up, I paid for them. I just, I just looked over them, and yes, I paid for them. Okay. Got some time for it here. But all of my time for bottles are the little bottles because I can only afford to get the baby bottles. Like, I can't afford to get the big bottles because Tommy is too expensive, okay? I, even though he sold all of his company, did he put in the contract, keep my shit expensive? Like, what? Because, I mean, child... This is Eventful Made by Tom Ford. And I bought this one. Where did I get this? I got this one at Nordstrom's, okay? And there's probably no S in Nordstrom. Okay, I'm from the South, so, you know, y'all know how I talk. But I got it from Nordstrom. Nordstrom, okay? Um, this is a, this fragrance screams money, okay? It screams money. Mr. Moneybags, Miss Moneybags, Dollar Dollar Bill. It just smells so expensive to me. This is like a resinous, um, kind of smoky a little bit. Earthy. It's definitely earthy. Um, I'm not going to say boozy, but it's definitely giving me like an incense resinous, rich, and not rich, rich, but I mean like a richness to the fragrance, okay? It is definitely a little on the heavy side. So I really don't see me pulling for this um, for spring and summer. I did recently wear this about two weeks ago when I had uh, went out and I wanted to get it in. I wanted to get a wear in before it started warming up. And so I'm glad that I did that. Now you, you can pull this off, you know, for a sexy little date night or whatever. Cause y'all know right now it gets a little cooler at night. So you can wear this one, you know, at nighttime. But once we get into the summer, I personally would not. But if you're a man, I think that would work for you. I would definitely say this fragrance is unisex, but it is definitely going to lean more masculine, okay? It is leaning more masculine in my opinion, but if you're a woman and you're like me, you like more of a heavier type of scent, incense smoky, earthy, uh, patchouli, resinous type of scent, you will enjoy this fragrance, okay? Again, this is Eben Fume, and I paid a little 30 ml. Um, I paid right under two because I had some Nordy points, and if you don't know what that is, um, it is, you can sign up like to get Nordy points, so every time you make a purchase at Nordstrom, you put in your phone number and you build points. So I had some points built up and so I used it on this. So you can get a, you can actually pick this up at Sephora for $180. Um, well see, that's what I'm talking about. Fragrance Net has it on for $243, but that might be like a 50ml or something like that. But yeah, it's it's going for $180. Yeah, $180. Oh, sex. Sex got it on right now. Seven. Oh, child. So for this 30 ml, it's running $2.95 at Sex. Lord, they wrong for that. So this this fragrance has went up quite a bit. Even the 3.4 is 400. I'm telling y'all, inflation, child, inflation. Ooh, we. I mean, man, it's getting crazy out here. But anyway. Don't go to sex. <laughs> Don't go to sex, baby. Don't go to sex, dear heart. Go to Sephora, okay? You got some points. You got some points with Sephora. Use your points. You got some naughty points. Use your naughty points, okay? Don't you pay to child. It being for me from time forward. Okay, so my next fragrance. Now, this is another fragrance. I don't think you can 
get this fragrance at discounters to be honest with you I, i've never seen it then again i've never looked but you might be able to honey you might be able to find this fragrance um somewhere cheaper than what i paid for it. but i actually went to the christian louis vuitton store here in houston at the galleria and bought this fragrance because for some reason they didn't carry them in um, neiman marcus which is odd and at the time they didn't have it at sex i think in store i think it was just online so i ended up going to the christian louboutin store now when this fragrance is first released he released seven you guys went crazy for this one but it wasn't necessarily my first love okay it wasn't out of the seven it wasn't my first love so i just purchased this fragrance like last year and it's been out now for probably about three years more or less but this is uh louis rouge by christian louboutin is it louis rouge yeah louis rouge christian louboutin um i paid about 300 for this okay this fragrance is magnificent do you hear me this has to be one of the most feminine fragrances i own in my collection it was so worth it it was so worth it unfortunately it wasn't my first love like i said luby crown was because i am that woody earthy patchouli type of gal i could not pick i could i couldn't make this my first purchase from that lineup like i just couldn't i couldn't i had to follow my heart and i went with the luby crown but i always knew that i wanted to come back to this fragrance because i loved it so much now this is um this is a very powdery almost kind of like lipsticky type of scent simply gorgeous i'm gonna spray a little bit on my hand oh it is simply gorgeous that orchid does come off powdery is it orchid i want to make sure i'm telling y'all the right thing that's what it is iris why am i saying orchid when it's iris like i was picturing the flower in my head but i was saying iris i mean i was saying orchid it's actually iris that is in this fragrance and what i've come to notice is that iris is one of my favorite floral notes and fragrances and so is orchid okay that's kind of why i get both of those confused sometimes but i i love iris in fragrance it comes off very um un, very particular very unusual type of floral scent it's not like a tube rose it's not like a rose it's not like a jasmine it's iris okay and iris to me smells so expensive it smells elevated it smells like a it smells different from all of those white florals that I'm so used to getting hit with. This is a floral that I can actually take in and tolerate and love. I love iris. I have several iris based uh, floral fragrances in my collection that I love so, so much. And this is one of them. Honey, this, I knew I was gonna come back. I came back for you okay i came back for you yes i had to have it and i have no regrets i have no regrets absolutely none i wish this fragrance uh was a little louder i wish that it projected a little bit more um it definitely performs different than the luby crown but they're two totally different fragrances so yeah but i just wish it uh, had a little bit more that <clears throat> because of the vibes that it's giving me i love it i love it love it it just makes me feel like 
one of the most beautiful feminine like I'm just a gentle flower like I love the soft life you know everything is handed to me I don't really have to work hard for anything you know I can just ask for whatever I want and I get it that's the vibes that's the vibes that this fragrance is giving okay that is what this fragrance is giving it is beautiful all of the ones in the red bottles start at three now the ones in them the new ones in them ambery bottles i haven't priced those yet but there is one that i do have my eye on i don't know when i'm gonna get it to be honest with you i'm gonna keep my eye on it and if i see that price starts to trickle up i may go ahead and pull the trigger and buy it because uh, I just refuse to I just I don't want to spend four hundred dollars on a fragrance anymore Like I don't want to spend four or five hundred dollars on a fragrance. Like I don't want that to be the norm for me because that's not That's not um, Conducive is that a word? That's just not how my life is set up. Okay, let me just say it That's not how my life is set up at this point. You know that is not what i want to be doing okay i would tell you i was super impressed with this brand i'm not was still am super impressed with this brand they actually had reached out to me and sent me their sample kit <sighs> child mm, they made my head spin they were so good different unique how i'm trying i'm trying to come up with the words to describe this brand they're different unique creative they're not going to be for everybody and i love that because i don't want everybody to smell like me i don't i love y'all i really do but i don't want y'all to smell like me <laughs> and i don't want to smell like you <laughs> is that mean I don't know, I just, I don't, they're not cookie cutter, they're not like your cookie cutter type of, um, they don't have like this cookie cutter type of fragrances. They are very, very unique and I don't hear a lot of people talk about this, these fragrances and I think it's because people may find it very hard to uh, resonate with these fragrances to be honest with you because they are so different and uniquely made and they just I just don't see them being for everybody there's one particular fragrance that a lot of people talk about a lot and that is moon glory yep a lot of people talk about moon glory um, from the harmonist and moon glory uh reminded me of something that i already had i can't put my name on it but it definitely reminded me of something now the one that i have in my hand is called hypnotizing fire and they did did i buy this one okay they gifted me desired earth i didn't put that in the video and um i fell in love with hypnotizing fire uh, when did I, oh you know what's so interesting that's how they ended up sending me the sample kit because I had went to the Neiman Marcus uh, here in Houston and I smelled all the fragrances and I actually was gonna buy one that day but I ended up buying my daughter a Marc Jacobs bag and so it just wasn't it didn't make sense for me to spend another uh grip in the mall i was like okay i'm tapped out for the day that's it um but i ended up putting that video up um, on my instagram as a reel and that's how they reached out to me and they sent me their samples and they were like let us know which one you want so i went with desired earth so they sent me desired earth but i paid for hypnotizing fire okay this fragrance oh Mm, every time I smell this fragrance, girl, it just ooh, knocks me off my feet. 
This is a sugary patchouli type of scent. It is. It gives off um, earthy. It gives off a little green. Let me spray some on my hand, baby. I when I first got this fragrance, I literally wore this fragrance for like two weeks straight. No lie. Ooh, it has a vanilla. You definitely pick up this earthy greenness from the fragrance. Um, it has this like, I want to say maybe Madagascar vanilla. The vanilla is very sugary. And combined with the patchouli, it makes the patchouli kind of sugary too. And man, it is super sexy. It is just, it's so unique to me. I don't have anything in my collection that is like this fragrance and and that's where i'm headed y'all like i want fragrances that are different i don't want the same white floral vanilla blase blase like nah give me something different you know what i'm saying like that's what i'm on that's the time i'm on there's pimento there's rose there's madagascar vanilla Indonesia patchouli and Opinox. Opinox is a resin. Anytime there's like resins in fragrances, either I can expect it to be a little richer or I can expect it to be uh, a little sweeter, like benzoin can come off sweet like vanilla, or I can expect it to be a little um, smoky, incense if you will in the fragrance it is definitely sweet warm earthy sugary green patchouli type of scent and it is extremely sexy you can find these fragrances at places like uh neiman marcus okay i think i said that a few minutes ago i bought mine uh directly from the um harmonious website and I paid $2.50 for it. And I can't remember if the shipping was free or not. I'm pretty sure it was free. Don't quote me on that, but yeah. So that's how much this one is hitting for, $2.50. And it is well worth it, honey. It was well worth every penny. I have no regrets at all. She will get wore out because I'm already wearing it out, honey. I cannot get enough of this fragrance i just can't it is just so it's intoxicating if you like if you had a hard time with sugared royale patchouli 64 you will love hypnotizing fire they are not similar by any means but that dry down that you get from the uh sugar royale that sugary, sweet, earthy patchouli, you'll get it in this, but 10 times smoother, okay? 10 times smoother. Way up here, way up here. That's, that is what, I mean, if I had to kind of get you guys in the frame of mind of what it kind of, it could be compared to in a way, would be, Sugar Royale Patchouli, but only in the dry down, not that boozy opening, okay? Not the boozy opening, but this is, this was well worth it. This was well, well worth it, y'all. Hypnotizing Fire by The Harmonist. Now, I didn't want to put one of my favorite fragrances on here because I talk about it a lot, but this fragrance does remind me a lot of Baccarat Rouge 540. A lot of people say this is a dupe. At the price point, it ain't no dupes, okay? Dupes to me are like um, cheap, you know, affordable, super affordable. This is a little pricey, okay? This one is a little pricey. But this is Trajan by Elictimus. Now, crazy thing of it is, I had COVID, right, over the holidays. Once I started getting my sense of smell back, Trajan was one that I smelled first, but it smells different to me now. Interesting thing. I wanna say this has a note of caramel in it, and it reminds me of Baccarat, that sweet, 
earthy cotton candy oak my saffron thing so having covid really did change my my sense of smell in a way there ain't no damn caramel in here there's no caramel <laughs> Lord, there's no caramel in this fragrance, but I swear I smell caramel. What is that? No caramel. Oh well. <laughs> Maybe mine just come off like that. Maybe it's just my nose. But boy, I get a sweet, ooey, gooey, sticky, caramel type note out of this fragrance. But... I enjoy this one. It, it definitely reminds me a lot of Baccarat. If you shop around, you can actually get this fragrance for probably right at 200. I just saw that on the Elictimus website, it was like 250. Don't quote me on that. But on uh, So Avant Garde, it's like 210. So do your research, okay? Do your research. Google it in there, and you will see. Uh, all the different vendors or different online stores where you can actually purchase this fragrance. I want to say I spent like $250 on it, but I did not get mine from the Elictimus website. I got it from Lucky Scent. Um, but I think that it's available uh, on, I think you can get this at the Scent Room. If you go to the scent room, because I did see it on the scent room's website, but check it out. Do your research. But yeah, this one's going to run you about 200 So, and I think it's well worth it because look at this bottle. This is like a 3.4, 3.7 size bottle. And just think, the Baccarat is going to run you well over 300 And you, the Baccarat, what is this? This is probably like a 2.8. This is a, what is this? This is a 2.4 and this is like a 3.4 or 3.5, like it's huge, okay? You do the math, three, almost 400 or two. And they smell so, so similar. Again, before I got COVID, you guys, I could literally not tell them apart that's how close they are but since that whole debacle this one is a little bit more sweeter to me in my opinion but damn it's good it is good okay trajan by Elictimus. those were my most expensive fragrances that i do not regret buying Comment down below. Let me know what your most expensive fragrance is and you don't have any regrets. I want to know. Also, comment your scent of the day. Let me know what you're rocking, all right? If you're into fragrances, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button. I would love it if you turn on your notification bell. That way, you'll be notified every time I upload a video and you don't miss out. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button on your way out. It lets me know that you are enjoying my content. I hope you guys are having a beautiful day and I hope you are smelling good doing it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!